This year, an astonishing 126 St. Paul Public Schools employees have reached their 25 years of service in our school district. Now I've done some math and that accounts for 3,150 years combined for all of you. No matter your role or the work that you do in St. Paul Public Schools, this is an incredible accomplishment. We are honored of your contributions to St. Paul Public Schools and you should be proud of your dedication to our school district. All of you, no matter your role, positively impact student learning. Custodians ensure that students have clean, safe places to explore and learn. Clerks provide a friendly face and make sure schools run smoothly. Counselors offer a listening ear and good advice. Nurses help our kids stay healthy. Bus drivers and other transportation workers get our kids to and from school safely. Nutrition services staff keep students fed and ready to learn. District and department staff who work behind the scenes to keep things running. And teachers inspire students to learn, pursue their dreams, and change the world. Resilience is especially important because in 25 years, students have changed a lot and the world has changed a whole lot more. Let's take a moment to look back at what was going on in our world when you began your career in SPPS. 25 years ago, in 1995, North America's largest airport opened. The new Denver International Airport was and remains the largest in North America. Some of the iconic films released in 1995 include Toy Story, Tommy Boy, Braveheart, Apollo 13, Outbreak, Bad Boys, Clueless, Jumanji, and Die Hard with a Vengeance. The last episode of Full House aired. South Africa won the Rugby World Cup. South Africa beat New Zealand 15 to 12 to win the World Cup and a symbolic victory for the post-apartheid nation. eBay went live, then called Auction Web. The site was started by Pierre Omidyar to help his then fiance find Pez dispensers for her collection. Other tech milestones of that year were the launch of IMDB and the release of Windows 95. Operation Desert Storm officially ended. Though a ceasefire had been declared years earlier for the Gulf War, the conflict that arose when Iraq invaded Kuwait, the operation didn't officially end until 1995. The average annual income was $35,900. The average monthly rent was $500 and a gallon of gas cost $1.09. Michael Jordan returns to the NBA, ending his retirement. After restarting his career, he went on to win three more NBA Finals with the Bulls in 1996, 1997, and 1998. Jordan permanently retired in 2003. And finally, the students who started kindergarten in 1995 are now 30 years old. Some of them are your coworkers and peers. Others have trusted you with their own children. I am grateful that these children can look up to you as role models. I'm also grateful that in the year 2020, you have chosen to stay at St. Paul Public Schools in a time where jobs and careers change frequently. I also think it's incredibly symbolic for me to mention that you are coming to your 25th year of service to St. Paul Public Schools during a global pandemic. We know that these times have been incredibly difficult on the entire world, our state, our city, and our school district. The fact that you remain committed, the fact that you are delivering incredible services to our community, our student body, our staff and faculty, our families, uh, means even more. And I couldn't be more proud to thank you for your efforts, to thank you for your expertise, and to thank you for helping our district put one foot ahead of the other. On behalf of the St. Paul School Board of Education, I am delighted to offer a warm congratulations for your 25 years of service to the students and families of St. Paul. So much can change in 25 years. Another initiative, time changes, strategic plans changes, school boards change, even superintendents change. But you, you have remained constant for 25 years. It's easy to think about how everything else has changed during this time. Have you thought about how you have changed? Who you were when you began the work in this organization, in this district? How you have grown during this time? Do you even take a moment to reflect on the wisdom that you possess now? This group is bursting with wisdom, individually and collectively. You whom we honor this year represent a vast, repository of experience, kindness, teaching, and learning. Add it all up, 
and you are left with a wealth of wisdom and knowledge. How does it feel to be so wise and knowledgeable? It is one of the greatest trade-offs of getting older. You can set an example. You can help your younger colleagues the way the old hands once helped you. You can roll with the punches more easily than you did when you first started. This is a great resource for the district. You are a resource and never forget it. Once more, on behalf of the Board of Education, thank you and congratulations.